In Friday's edition of the News 45 Major, it was reported that the Royal St. Lucia Police Force's investigation into the fraudulent sale of vehicles on Facebook had borne fruit. Acting Assistant Police Commissioner with Responsibility for Crime Management, George Nicholas, revealed that two individuals have been arrested. Brian Justin, a 23-year-old resident of La Pansy, have been arrested and charged with four counts of obtaining property by deception. He is currently on remand at the bodily correctional facility. Also, Joshua Kalen Duncan Charles, an, an 18 year old of Babatat Castries, have also been arrested and charged with three counts of obtaining property by deception. On the first count, he was bailed in the sum of $3,000 cash or suitable surety and is to report to Central Police Station three days a week, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. The other two counts, a bail hearing is pending. ACP Nicholas says people must be more discerning and shrewd in the purchase of items and the conduct of business transactions. What I can say about this, I mean, we, 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 are, too, we are too gullible. We like the easy way out. And, you know, so when there's a saying that solutions like freeness, we like cheap things. And we just have to stop being so gullible. There's a maxim in law that says, let the buyer beware. So you cannot buy a Jabba sack, so to speak, if I were to use our local palace. You buy a Jabba sack. You have not seen the car. You don't know the individual. And yet still you'll, you'll part your money and, and, and lose it in the process. The senior police officer stated that after making contact on Facebook, prospective buyers would be given a vehicle key, relieved of their money, until the car could be collected at a different location. Colby DeVoe, HDS News Force.